go to heavenly father lord jesus our savior the holy spirit the power from above we acknowledge and we proclaim that you have guided us through this day to the end of the same day to these moments to worship you adore you and glorify you especially you have made this day special to us through the holy catholic church as we celebrated the solemnity of the martyrdom of saints Peter and Paul to great apostles to great witnesses they witnessed to your name they witnessed to your glory shedding their life for you lord the only thing they kept till the end was faith in you Lord you have guided us to these moments of this day from the beginning and we believe we did have the intercession of saints Peter and Paul together with us this day Lord, when we consider the lives of saints Peter and Paul, we have only one thing to ask of you. Lord, help us deep root in our heart faith in you. Let our faith increase every step of our way, every moment of our life. a faith that helps us to overcome our sufferings a faith that is fortified through the sufferings of our life a faith that would help us to see your face every moment a faith that would help us to walk steadily to eternal life whatever may come against us on our way a faith that would help us to choose that narrow way leading to life a faith that would help us to abide by your commands and your words a faith that would bring us anointing and grace from the holy spirit a faith that would help us proclaim your name a faith that would help us to love our brothers and sisters a faith that would help us to build our relationship in our family in love in your love a faith that would bring us hope every moment of our life lord draw us close to you increase our faith every moment and when you put saints peter and paul in front of us as the pioneers of the church 
building up the church on the rock that was Peter and the church that was flourishing among the gentiles through saint paul lord we know that they were so focused on you proclaiming your name even when they saw death face to face they were not afraid because beyond that death they saw your face and your hand lord we pray for that kind of faith in us a faith that would help us to see beyond to see your hand and see your face in everything even in our sufferings even in our downfall even in our tears thank you lord for the gifts of saints peter and paul hallelujah we worship you with saint peter and saint paul we worship you with whole court of heaven we worship you with all the angels we worship you with blessed virgin mary we worship you with all holy men and women we worship you with all creatures of the earth we worship you our family with our family members we worship you with the holy catholic church thank you lord we worship you lord we adore you lord hallelujah hallelujah dear sisters and brothers let us lift up our heart unto the lord in praise and worship and adoration in silence let our hearts proclaim his name let our hearts proclaim his love for us let our hearts bow before our lord let our hearts remember all the blessings we have received thank you lord worship you lord we adore you lord and lord all this on this day of solemnity through the intercession of saints peter and paul we ask of you this grace as you drew peter and paul to you and they did put their trust in you through the intercession increase our faith draw us close to you every moment and let that confidence that you will never let us down you will never let us go let that confidence build in us in such a way that every moment we seek let our hearts have that passion to stay close to you
Lord, you are the only thing that we need. You are what our hearts long for. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord.
everything that we need in our life. As Saint Peter and Saint Paul were so focused upon you, upon your holy name, proclaiming your glory and deeds to the people around. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let our hearts praise our Lord. Let our hearts worship our Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. sisters and brothers this moments of worship and adoration let us remind ourselves and let us proclaim to the whole world the assurance the Lord has given to his children about his protection we pray in Psalm 91 which reminds ourselves of his protection to his children. To protection, his protection to the whole world. And we proclaim our Lord is a Lord who cares and protects each and every one of us. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that weighs at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. And with long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, let us offer all our prayer intentions unto the Lord at this moment. Prayer for our own families. Prayer for our own personal intentions. Prayer for the whole world the world struggling through COVID-19, all the patients affected, all the health workers at the forefront, all the departed souls caused by COVID-19. 
the financial struggles of ourselves and of the whole world. All those who lost their job, their beloved ones, we offer all of them unto the Lord. All the vulnerable people, all those who need special care and attention outside COVID-19, the homeless, the migrants, the poor, the starving, as offer all of them unto the Lord. And we ask of his mercy upon our prayers. And dear sisters and brothers, from Divine Retreat Center Samasbi, we lift up all the prayers we've been receiving these days. All those who have asked for prayers for a job, prayers for family peace and joy, prayers for broken families, childless couples, for departed souls, for the elderly people struggling with so many sicknesses, prayers for children with special needs, mentally and physically. We offer all the prayer intentions we have received here. O oh Lord, have mercy upon those prayers. Dear sisters and brothers, we also request your prayers for Divine Retreat Center Samaspi. Please say a prayer for this retreat center and all its intentions and needs, all its volunteers, benefactors, well-wishers, neighbors, intercessors, priests, a prayer for broken bed diocese in which the retreat center stands. O oh, Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center, Samaspa. May your Holy Presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit Rest upon it. Praise your Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And now let us prepare for the moments of benediction. And so we sing together, down in adoration, falling. Say 
Let us pray. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary, and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy, drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Amen. Amen.